Hey guys, welcome back to We Watch Movie. I am Mike, and today's video is three things, not including movies and TV shows, that Halloween and Trankus films should do with the Halloween franchise between Halloween ends and whatever they do next, whether it be a TV show or a movie. But there's a lot of people who say, and this is one of the things I never agree with is, kill it, it's over, they made too many films, ah, it's beating the horse to death, blah, blah, blah. Fast and the Furious, that conversation's over with, right? If I have to watch Vin Diesel go to space in a fucking tank top, I'm pretty sure we can expand the lore of Michael Myers a little bit. Not, not to mention Star Wars and all the other crazy shit that's been going on for years and years and years. Spear, I don't, I, I'm not a, I'm not a, it has to die. <laughs> it needs to die. That's not me at all. Okay, let's be honest with you. Full frontal male nudity, as you always get here on this channel. I would do a Halloween film again next year. If Halloween ends, ends with to be continued next year when Halloween ends again, I would watch the shit out of that. And I would walk out of the theater with a smile knowing, yes, new Halloween film next year. I will never, ever get tired of Michael Myers. That's just me, though. I realize that that's not the main audience of the world. So with that being said, let's assume they're going to give five years. Okay, five years that's too much for me it hurts my little dick i mean soul it hurts my little soul i don't want to wait five years but five years sounds about like probably what we'll be waiting a little bit what am i trying to do i look like i'm trying to force a butt crack open get in there <laughs> come on tom <laughs> break it loose uh, let's say three to five years is, is when we get the next uh movie so what between them can you do i feel like i can fill that time in very wisely uh, which is what I say to my wife and she's like, I've got two to three minutes before I have to go to work. I'm like, I know just what you should do. But let's fill in that slot with something other than TV and movies, okay? Here comes that white-faced fucker, an asshole like no other. He's a big old piece of shit, wants to stab your sister's tits cause he's a white-faced fucker. Loomis can't recover, Dr. Challenge drunk again, sleeping with your sister's friends. Do you want to know about the darkness? I said God did. The number one thing, and I think everybody will agree with me on this, is a Halloween video game. Why on earth is there not a great Halloween video game yet? I, it seems like the natural progression. I mean, look at what Gun Media did with Friday the 13th. Look at what they're doing with Texas Chainsaw Massacre. Look at what's going on with the Evil Dead video game. Michael Myers and Halloween should absolutely, if I'm going to play a COD's role and sit behind the desk and say, here's what I'm gonna do. I am definitely licensing a video game next. Now, what I'm interested in when it comes to a Halloween video game is a first person campaign horror game. I want it to be scary. I want it to be deeply involved. I want it to have lore. I want it to have characters. You can go one of two ways with this campaign. You could start at the beginning or even beforehand and you could tell the story as it unfolds throughout the franchise or you could bring out brand new characters and have michael myers be your only character that you know uh where that works out really well is you, you can play around with new ideas and do new things new characters and who knows maybe it becomes so beloved and it's so well done that that starts to give fruition to future plans of uh, of halloween movies now that laurie strode's out of the picture after halloween ends and we're really gonna have to figure out where the halloween movie franchise goes next story-wise something like a video game can start to really bring those ideas forward if you do something new but then again, it would be really fun to go back and play campaign through all the old movies, whether it's a one video game or their sequels or however you do it. I would really like a first person game where you're surviving Michael Myers in those movies or you play as a different character depending on the movie it was. Now, if you want to do a multiplayer thing where you play as Michael and, and try to kill people, I'm cool with that too. Uh, I just think that there's already so much of that with Dead by Daylight, uh, with Friday the 13th games and all the games like that that we've seen, Evil Dead. There's so much of that already going on. I would like to see uh, someone try to do a really scary, well-made story mode video game for Halloween Michael Myers. I wonder also if you can hear my dishwasher. Something's broken in it. It sounds like a fucking water park every day in my house. I don't know what the fuck's going on. Anyways, shit on a pickle stick. I swear to God, between children, dogs, and household appliances, mailmen, fucking weed eaters, there is no silence. I'm starting to turn into fucking Jack Torrance from The Shining, I swear to God. If one more person asks me if I want sandwiches, I swear to fucking God. Let me know what you guys think about that. What do you want to see in a Halloween video game? That's definitely one thing. That's the first thing I would do. I mean, absolutely, that's the first thing I would do. The number two thing I would do, and this is kind of a twofer, 
uh, Halloween comic books and Halloween novelizations. Now, we have some of both, I know, but there is no reason for the popularity of the Halloween franchise that we have these hard to, we only have this hard to find few comic book storylines uh, that are broken apart in different variations and whatnot. We do have a series where we do Halloween walkthroughs of each of those. I'll put links to that at the end of the video that you guys can check out, but uh, they're good. They're fun. They're interesting. They add to lore on original characters or they bring in new characters. Hi, child. It's a great way to bring new ideas about for a franchise that's going to need new places to go movie wise. So you could actually look at this. You, it gives you a chance to try new and strange things. In one of these ha Halloween comic books, they had Laurie Strode end up as the killer. Now, I'm not saying that's anything they should ever do. I'm just saying it gives you a chance to try crazy M. Night Shyamalan stuff with zero pushback. It's not going to be canon. You can do whatever you want with it at the end of the day. And if some great idea comes out of doing comic books and novelizations, then you can use that for the movie. So it's good on both ends. Now, as far as comic books go, I think there should be one series it should be official through Trankus, like some of them have been before, by the way, but it should be official through Trankus, and it should be a monthly magazine, monthly comic book. I think it should keep coming out, and I think they should tell a really rich, deep story, get people who really care about it. It's popular enough to survive. I really think it is, and I think they should put some effort and work behind it. Uh, novelizations the same way. Look at what Star Wars does with their novelizations. Resident Evil has novelizations. Like, there's so many of these properties that have them. Halloween so far only has novelizations other than a short story here or there for the movie. So, and those are even awesome how they expand just that little bit extra. You could do new fiction with the Halloween novelizations and you could do a series of them and keep them coming and it could be new characters. And again, we go back to the same theme. You get new ideas for the movies and this starts to spark ideas for new movies based on what you do. And guys, the Halloween fandom will eat them up. I know I will. They can do anything they want to. And if it sucks, then they can switch it up. It's just a book. It's not canon. It's not a new timeline. Uh, it'd be a beautiful thing. And I would read the ever living fuck shits out of every single one of them. I'm whispering because there's children close by. Mr. Get me out of here. Okay, and my final idea to bridge the gap between Halloween Ends and the next movie, but to satiate the hardcore fans of the franchise, is to re-release several of the movies with deepfake technology. And this is not that crazy. With the with the money that these movies would bring in and the stuff that you see on the internet, the Tom Cruise, Jim Carrey deepfakes, all the wild shit that we've seen. If Trank is pay somebody to go back into Halloween 4 and not really change the movie, if they want to upgrade or whatever, do a different presentation add a scene here or there if they can figure it out how to do that whatever um that's fine but the main purpose of this would solely be to fix that mask if you deep fake the original michael myers mask which christopher nelson nelson just recreated in perfection for the halloween kills flashback i mean that mask it was like he just did what so many have tried and failed to do. Like, how amazing was it that he made an awesome mask for 2018, but the fact that he literally recreated the original mask that so many special effects guys have tried and failed at. So you deep fake the mask throughout the entirety of Halloween 4 and re-release it. I think fans would flock to the theaters to see these movies redone at least four. Five is a little bit iffy, but... Um, and I'm not just talking about some Fathom Events bullshit. I think that it would actually run for a few weeks in theaters. And at very worst, you could re-release that set on DVD, Blu-ray, 4K, and people would buy the living fuck shits out of it. I know that I would. It would change the entire movie. Halloween 4 is a great film. It really is. And it has maybe the best Halloween atmosphere of the entire franchise. If you just fix that mask, holy shit, though. What are you doing to me? Halloween 5? Not, not that. It's got a lot more problems but if you change the mask oh my god i want to see that too you know what i mean and then finally if you want to get really nuts why don't we go and fix the mask from h2o resurrection cannot be saved but let's save the mask from h2o too let's do that that's the one that you should really do oh my god how crazy would it be if they did a different mask that was a little bit more weathered something kind of in between the original mask and 2018's mask and you deep fake that into the h2o movie you could do a re-release of that as well i think these movies would be extremely profitable i mean i know they've done it with star wars and that star wars is way bigger but it was a big deal and people lined up to see those movies 
Uh, I, I just think it would work. I mean, how big it would work is arguable, but if you get somebody to do that, it would change those movies forever. It would change the franchise, in my opinion. So that's my three ideas. If I was in charge of the Halloween franchise and I just wanted to keep Michael alive and keep giving fans something, but didn't want to oversaturate the general audience before my next movie comes out, this is what I would do between Halloween films. So that's just my idea. Comment down below. What do you guys think? Is there anything I missed? What would you do if you were me? What do you guys think of a video game? What kind of video game would you want to see? What do you think about the D fake ideas comment below on all of it i really can't wait to hear all's opinions i love your fucking faces and i hope you guys have an amazing day what are you gonna do on october 31st what are you gonna do on october 31st here comes that white faced fucker an asshole like no other he's a big old piece of shit wants to stab your sister's tits because he's a white faced fucker loomis can't recover dr challenge drunk again sleeping with your sister's friends do you want to know about the darkness I said, God damn. God damn you, Ooh, I said, God damn. A lot of people don't know the darkness that goes inside their hearts. I said, God damn.